we still don't know Brian Koberger's motive for killing the four students in the house on King Road. We also don't have a clear link to any of the victims. Everything that has come out thus far has just been based on speculation and anonymous sources. I believe the prosecution already has that link worked out and are busy trying to nail it down. Just saw this document that was recently put out and it appears that there is another warrant for Snapchat records. However, this time the timeline is for months before the killings took place. The warrant is for the Snapchat accounts of Sana, Ethan, Madison and Kaylee, as well as for the two surviving roommates, Bethany and Dylan. They believe that Snapchat might have some information about the killings that took place. Makes me question what the connection is. Who is contacting who on Snapchat? Now let's get back to the dates here. They want the Snapchat information from the 23rd June 2022 until the 1st August 2022. That's just over a month of Snapchat data. Is this where it all started? I think they are working on establishing a timeline and also proving premeditation. If you look at this probable cause affidavit, it says the account was open for an AT&T phone in June 2022. On August 21st, that same phone utilized cellular resources providing coverage to the King Road residents. This happened at least 12 times prior to November 13th. It looks like this was planned months before the killings took place.